Hey, what is up guys, you're watching the ITHQ and today we're going to be taking a look at some hidden features and tips and tricks of iOS 9. Now before we get into that part of the video, I just want to show you guys how to install iOS 9 on your device. You need to make sure that your device's UDID is registered. I will leave a couple of links down below for where you guys can register your device's UDID. Then on your Mac or your PC, go over to imzdl.com and download the respective firmware uh, for your device. Now mine is the iPad mini, I will go and download that, then connect your device, iTunes will open up and then over there press option and click restore iPad. Now if you are on Windows machine you can actually have to hold shift and then click on restore iPad and then select the IPSW file from that pop-up window and now you are running iOS 9 on your device. Alright guys, so the first feature is that now we have a search bar in settings, so if you're looking for any setting, just go ahead and type it out and you will be able to access it now a little bit more quickly. The second one is that now uh, when the shift key is pressed, all the uh, keys, all the letters are now uppercase and when, you, when the shift key is not pressed, then all the keys are lowercase. That's how it should be and now it's a lot less confusing and actually now works. The third one is going to be that now we have a bit of control over when Siri should speak or and when it should not. So if you go to Siri and you go over to audio feedback, now we have all this on or control with the ring switch. So if the ring switch is set to silent, then the, there's going to be no audio feedback from Siri. So Siri is not going to say anything. The fourth one is that now we it is a lot more easier to select multiple photos by just uh, dragging a finger around and that would just select all the photos. It's actually very fun to do and it's a lot more quicker as well. The fifth one is now that in the notification center we have split view. So when you reach the notification center we have widget and notifications on the right side and today view on the left. Now the sixth feature is that I've just searched for an app called mail and has taken me to the mail but now on the top I have this option of back to search. Now this is throughout the operating system and it's probably one of my favorite features. The seventh feature is now that the mail app allows you to add attachments directly from iCloud Drive. So I've got uh, you know, iCloud Drive enabled and these are all the documents I've got in, in iCloud and I can simply add them as attachments and send them away. Now it's not working currently but it works sometimes. Now talking about iCloud Drive, the number 8 feature is now that we have an iCloud Drive app as well. Now to enable that, you go to iCloud, iCloud Drive and turn on Show in Home Screen. So now we have this iCloud Drive, uh, drive app uh, and you can basically access all your files that you have in the iCloud. It looks a lot like iFile, which is a jailbreak tweak, but now I've got pages, documents, numbers. These are all the doc, uh, you know, things I've got in my uh, iCloud drive right now, and I can access them, download them, view them. It's actually very neat. Ninth feature is that now we have a scrubber, a photo scrubber, so you can scrub through your photos uh, very quickly now. It's actually a very neat feature as well. Number 10 is now that we have an option of putting a six digit passcode. So when you're making a new password, uh, there's a password option you now and you can select a six digit passcode and now we have six digit uh, password as well now. So uh, it's actually kind of long but well you can use that as well and you can also use the four digit passcode as well. It's not mandatory. Alright, that's it from this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, more iOS 9 coverage will be coming to the channel. So make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. And I will talk to you guys all in the next video. Peace out.